Bush Bushite. Ready for another wrong radio show? Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Ryan Rotten. And I'm here to tell you some American history. Well, back in the Civil War days, those crazy bloody wanking Yankees, they was fighting together. And so, they fought and they bled on the bloody American soil, don't you know? But, I have reached recently purchased a bloody old house in bloody Florida. It's an old bloody plantation, orange grove plantation. And in the bloody wall I found a chest. I opened it up and there was a civil war let us. And now I'm gonna read them to you. It's very interesting. My dear sweet Lisa, for I've been west of the Mississippi for some time now since the war, I've had you in my heart and in my dreams. You see, we are pushed across enemy lines past the Mississippi River, well out west. I've been hiding in Wyoming. Now that it is over and all those business has taken place in Sioux City, I must come to you in Rhode Island for one last farewell before I return south of the Mason-Dixon for it is dangerous of me to be there I hope I can count and trust on you however I do miss you since our meeting in Tennessee while you're on vacation wearing that dress lovely though you should not have been in the company of gamblers however you are protected by my gun. My dearest Lisa, I pray and hope that I make it to you well and safe, and hope that you will not bring me no wrong or trade me in any way, though I know I can seek refuge with you and yours. So forgive me for any harm I may bring, but I will not come if harm follows, for it is dangerous for me a rebel of the south, a son of the south, to be there above the Dixon line. So please, I cordially invite you to greet me at the exits of five. Please, my dearest Lisa, I must, I must see you one last time before I return home, before this is over. Mr. Lincoln has said that he has freed the slaves and soon by the year of 69, 18th century, this should be over with. <laughs> Perhaps I can get you a steamboat down, down to the Floridas where I, where I shall be. My dear sweet Lisa, I have received your letters, brought to me Pony Express the poor driver of the Pony Express of the coachman was full of arrows and holes but he made it as though it did no good to tip him a gold coin <laughs> for he had minutes to live but he made it my dear sweet Lisa I'm looking so forward and hopeful that I will be within your sight within just a day or two once again, it is dangerous for me to be there above the Mason Dixon. No times have changed. My dear sweet Lisa, I will call you tomorrow. Telegram. Please be at the courthouse at 1300. I will call you. Telegram. Code name Highway Child. And dear sweet Lisa, please. Tell no one, no one, of my arrival. Once again, I'm looking forward to seeing you ever. It's dangerous for me to court you 
in such a manner in these times. But since you cannot get to me south of the Mason-Dixon, I shall come to you. I bid you adieu. Farewell for now and good day. My dear sweet Lisa. It blot, he says, here in this letter, this author letter, it's a bit crumply. It tells the bloody beginning of the story of this bloke in bloody Lisa. So let's go ahead and read in, don't you know? I first met my darling Lisa in high school in the 10th grade, 11th grade. Maybe the 12th. I was going to ask for her hand on a courtship to the bowling alley in Orange City. And the next day where I was going to ask, she was gone. She moved back above the Mason Dixon. And never again have I seen her until I plan this trip now to park at exit 5 in Rhode Island by Warwick and she will come to greet me my darling Lisa what a bloody bloke and a half to have a bloody bollocks to go up there in enemy bloody wanking territory those bloody yanks are stubborn more the blokers anyway let's read another letter because the story goes on, don't you know? <clears throat> she assert, assures me refuge if things get out of hand or I'm discovered on that side of the Mason Dixon. If you have any friends or anyone I can run to in case the plans are ruined, I'd appreciate it. If up there it's scarce to find refuge for a southern boy like myself from the southern. Indiana's to the southern Florida's and the Carolinas. My darling Lisa awaits me. To die's bloody story about a rebel in bloody wanking Yankee territory was told by me, Roy and Roy, and, and I hope you didn't feel treated by the reenactment of I Wei Chai Today's show was Wrong Radio 123 and I've got to bloody go young wankers cause it's all bullocks. Cheerio!